Alright, I was going to do a quick little guide on WinMIP2 here. Um, let's see here. I just wanted to show you how you can um, transfer uh, uh, a BMP file to MIP or uh, some things about invisibility, but what you want to do is you click open. Uh, I'm going to go to um, Papyrus and the tracks. And then I'll just pick uh, uh, Daytona 2011. And then we've got some logos here. So Flagger Box, MIP, we'll just use that in, as an example. But I wanted to show you about um, invisibility. So you'll see there's a bunch of pinkish purple color here. And uh, that's the invisibility color. So. Um, uh, if you make your own um, uh, MIPS, I guess, you're going to want a background color that's this, but you can choose what color it is. Um, but uh, they have the invisibility color as, and it gives you the exact definition here, RGB 248-0248. So... I'll just keep that there. I probably shouldn't have changed that. But what you can do to tra to uh, convert a uh, a BMP file, bitmap file to MIP, is you have to uh, first make a BM a bitmap file BMP. But it has to be a special dimension. It has to have a width of uh, of powers of two, or what I mean by that is like a width of two, four, six. Or 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, etc. Doubled. And the same with the height. They have to be. So for this one, I have 256 by 128. So this one will be able to be converted into a MIP file. So I can pick the invisibility color, which is white, if I wanted to do that. And I could say, alright. Alright, now what did I do? Oh uh, man, that was stupid. Alright, let me try that again. <clears throat> but normally I would pick a, a bright purple color because you wouldn't use that probably for a sign anyway. But I can save this now as a MIP. And I'm not sure what these numbers do, but this is just a basic uh, way you can work with MIP files and, and um, bitmap files. Uh, make sure you have NASCAR 2003 logo selected up here. Um, so that's basically all I have to offer right now. Maybe I can get a more in-depth uh, uh, tutorial later. But yeah, so we would click Save As. And I would save it as a MIP file. I've already saved it, but I'll just save it again. So yes, now we have a MIP file that says Test. With my very fancy handwriting, as you can obviously see so uh yeah thank you